Hey YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Uh, this time I'm going to talk about something we do all the time, which is test Ethernet cable. Uh, one thing that we do, of course, is we test all of the Ethernet cable that we produce at the factory. However, we also come out and do randomly, actually I should say I come out and do quarterly randomized testing of our cable SKUs. This particular quarter, uh, all of the Cat5e cable is due to be tested. So I have a cat 5 d riser uh, cable uh, here, cop solid copper, and I've got it at 295 feet terminated to keystone jack, to keystone jack, which is in effect a permanent link. So a permanent link test is a very tough test. I'm using permanent link adapters with a Fluke DSX-8000. And I've got the Fluke set up to do a category 5E permanent link plus PoE test. And that's important because you're getting resistance measurements and all other measurements that matter. So uh, let's go ahead and plug this guy in and just do testing like I normally do. Plug in one end, and then it's gonna make a ding noise to say that it knows that I got something plugged into it. And there it is. All right, so the next step is, I mean, the test is already set up, the project set up, the fluke is already ready to go. So I'm just gonna hit test. And we have a full pass. And uh, it's not just a pass. I want to find out how good of a pass because uh, if you're a field installer using one of these instruments, then you're going to be interested in pass fail. And you're really not going to be going too far beyond that. Because we're a manufacturer, I want to know if it's a pass, how good of a pass is it, how much headroom is there, and if I'm going to be seeing any trends uh, like crosstalk. Uh, performance going down, like in a particular cable skew, or return or insertion loss, especially uh, going down uh, for a particular cable skew. So I actually have to look a little deeper, and I go into the actual parameters that are measured. And the crosstalk parameter is 10.3 dB, which is really really good. The next one that I'm most concerned about is insertion loss, and that's 2.9 dB. That's really good. I like to see two and above. So this cable is definitely with an expectation of the quality that uh, we'd like to provide. So if uh, you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Uh, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. And with that, I'm gonna say you have a great day. Happy networking.